Hi, everybody. So I'm going to be continuing uh, the deburring of all of the ribs and nose ribs for the horizontal stabilizer. Uh, here I am talking with one of the uh, my flying club members who hadn't seen the plane before and was curious. It's funny, they, uh, everyone gets, everyone wants to know what's going on. I've had, uh, and it's been really been great. Everyone around the, uh, hangars where I'm, where I am and in Oakland, it's, they come around, they're like, oh, I hear that you're building a plane and some people have, have, have joined and wanted to help and it's really been great. Anyway, uh, so now I am continuing to deburr, and now I am dimpling uh, some of the ribs. There's Ben, our maintenance officer for our club. Uh, I did this out of order. I really should have primed all these before I dimpled them. I also did this to the horizontal stabilizer skins. I dimpled them before I primed the inside. Boy, that was a mistake. You go to scuff the pieces before you prime, and those dimples with the raised rough edges eat through uh, scotch bright pads. And I'm going to actually, uh, on the form where I post uh, the links of this video, I've got some pictures where you can actually, you know, well, it's, you'll see it later. Anyway. So uh, on the little table in front, on the left side, you can see kind of the two stringers are, that are uh, attached to the middle of the ribs for the horizontal stabilizer, and they're attached with uh, a piece of webbing. There's Liz, my favorite flight instructor. So anyway, that uh, the stringer and the webbing, d those attach to uh, the ribs and then attach between both spars. And this is just me con cleaning parts. And Liz is back. Yeah, I've got the extension out for the deburring tool for the rivet holes, and boy, that thing really helps. Makes very quick work of all of those, all of those ribs. I believe there's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, let me look at the plans. There are 12 main ribs all together. And I believe one, two, three, four, five, six, six, or eight uh, nose ribs. Those ribs are nice and small. Those are easy to deal with, but the uh, big ribs are a little bit more of a pain. So here I am fluting. Uh, fluting is an art, and it's very simple to get a hold of. The thing that you need to remember with these pieces is that the main ribs are easy. The nose ribs are the ones that are going to appear to be very weird. Uh, Vans want you to flute them so that all of the flange holes line up. And to do that, uh, you have to flute flanges uh, around the holes and it's it's not like doing a normal uh, rib. I, I should put a picture somewhere. Anyway, uh, this is what I'm going to be continuing to do. Uh, I'll see you in the next video where it's just more prep and I'll, uh, I'll explain the fluting thing in more detail after that. See you.